Welcome to Hurricane Insight, your trusted eye on the storm. I'm Zachary, covering major weather events across the North American region and the Eastern Pacific. Today in the Gulf, we have an Invest 93L, which is looks to target Louisiana at Mississippi and Alabama with torrential rainfall. So let's dive right into it. Now, if we look at our satellite imagery model presented to us by Weather Nerds, we can see an area of interest moving across Florida, which is Invest 93L, but its low level circulation is over here. But the MLC and convection is over here about to make its way into the Gulf of Mexico. So we can see a low level circulation realignment once it gets into the Gulf of Mexico where the MLC turns into the LLC. If you look at a National Hurricane Center graphic, as of 2 p.m. EDT, Tuesday, July 20, 2025, satellite and radar data indicate that low pressure area previously over the Atlantic is moving onto the coast of northeastern Florida. This system is currently producing disorganized showers and thunderstorm activity. A little development is expected through the night while the center is over land. Once the system reaches the northwestern Gulf on Wednesday, environmental conditions appear generally favorable for additional development and a tropical depression could form while the system moves across northeastern and north central Gulf and approaches the coast of Louisiana on Thursday. Regardless of development, heavy rainfall could produce localized flash flooding over portions of Florida through Wednesday. Heavy rainfall could also cause flash flooding with portions of the north central Gulf Coast beginning Wednesday and continuing through Friday. For additional information, please refer to the products issued by, an, by a local National Weather Service office. We have a formation dance of 40% through both 48 hours and 7 days. Meaning, it's kind of out of 50 50 yards. So if this doesn't form, in this region is not going to form. There is shear in the Gulf of Mexico, but it has warm water to work with. But it has it has little time. It has today to move off the coast and Wednesday to actually trying to form it into anything before moving on to Louisiana by Thursday. If we look at our GES models, you see the L coming over, but then the GEFS models. Practically does not have becoming anything just a rainmaker for for Louisiana. And if you look at the GFS model, about the same thing. Comes off the coast of Florida, goes to Louisiana, and nothing really develops. If you look at our European model, practically the same thing. It had its low coming off yes okay, hold on, pause. Yesterday it looked very good, but because that was in D Max where most of the convection pops up. And then D min happened. So it went and then when it went over land, all the convection diminished over Florida. And the European model has it not becoming anything afterwards. Not even a, a tropical depression. So right now there's no need to worry about anything forming the tropical depression that we saw all her again. If you look at our share model we have some share in the Gulf by Louisiana from a high pressure system, but that shouldn't really be a factor anymore going into Thursday and Friday. And our sea surface temperatures, 31 degrees Fahrenheit by Louisiana and off the coast of Florida. So it has the water to work with, but it just doesn't have enough time to get act together while conditions are favorable. Thanks for watching Hurricane Insight. Stay safe, stay informed. And we'll see you in the next update.